Well, I'm joined now by Jonathan Miller, our foreign affairs correspondent, who's been here now four days and whose report you saw earlier. Your overall impression from the first four days here in Sri Lanka, a country that has not been easy for us to visit of late. Yeah, we haven't been in here, John, for four and a half years since we were unceremoniously kicked out uh, right at the very end of the war. And um, I have had the full flavor in the last four days. Uh, a very striking experience tonight meeting some local journalists who were reporting on the same event as I was at, that standoff with the police and some of those families of the disappeared. They said to me, now you can really see what, what it's like here, now you can really see what we're up against. And I have been quite moved by the way in which these local journalists have been able to report despite enormous restrictions and threats against themselves in a very, very repressive environment. It's a scary place, John. Um, bad things happen and happen a lot. I'm just producing for you my pass because something happened to me tonight, which was interesting. I wanted to go and talk to some of the delegations because that's an important way to find out how everything's going. And I've been to many uh, Prime Minister's conferences actually down the years, and you always go and mess with them in the bars, at the hotels yeah. and restaurants. We're banned from the hotels, no media. We're a threat to security, in the words of the senior police officer. Channel 4 News in particular is picked upon as being a particular threat. And we, we, we are now being labelled, well, effectively, Tamil Tigers. Yeah, we, we are, and uh, I think there was, there was an incident a couple of days ago when I managed to doorstep the uh, President uh, Rajapaksha outside one of the hotels, uh, there was a conference venue, um, apparently after a very brief chat in which I asked him whether he was concerned about these allegations of war crimes which have dogged him in the five years since the war, um, he got into his car and was absolutely furious, he was livid. And the upshot of this is that a government minister today announced an investigation as to how it all came about, that there wasn't sufficient security around the president at that time. It is very hard to get to these figures. It's very hard to ask the questions. We've put in for several interviews with senior ministers. None of them have come through. And there's one in particular that I would like to talk to. His name is Gotabe Rajapaksha. He is one of the brothers who run this country. And he is the Defence Secretary, he's unelected, and he is credited, I use the word uh, probably completely wrongly there, with ending this war. But the Sinhalese people are very grateful for the fact that all these years of terror are behind them now. Gotabia Rajapaksha is blamed by virtually everyone I speak to for the climate of fear that has enveloped this country and has, having turned it into what is essentially a police state. Jonathan Miller, that's all from here for the moment. We hope to be back a little later in the programme.